This kitchen looks like a convenient place for not only cooking, but also making decoctions. Thank you for inviting me here. Hmm. This small stove will do nicely, and I already have all the other equipment with me. It's a great relief knowing I won't have to keep my patients waiting. Thank you. I can tell you've put a great deal of thought into decorating the study. The potted plant in particular. It's refined and elegant in appearance, but still carries with it a subtle hint of the wilderness. For those who spend extended periods of time at their desk, it's no doubt a relaxing sight. Taking care of the mind is an important part of healthy living. In that sense, the layout of your study is an ideal one. They say that a person's residence is an accurate reflection of their character, and I find it to be quite sensible. Now that I've seen your realm within, for myself, yes, you indeed possess a most intriguing character. My way of living differs slightly from those of others, but please don't worry about it. I've brought everything that's important to me. After all, it's a doctor's responsibility to take care of themselves first and foremost. Ah, just a few things for my personal use. I'm not in the best physical condition and have to take my medicine as soon as something begins to flare up. That's why I carry a medicine box wherever I go. Apart from the medicine, there are also quite a few bottles and jars in my possession. They're heavy and take up a lot of space, so I didn't bring too many of them along. Thank you, but there really is a lot. You're the owner of this place, and I don't want to take excessive advantage of your hospitality. <sighs> Look at him, mincing his words and trying to be polite. Let me explain. If you ask me, a lot is a grave understatement. You wouldn't believe how many of those jars there are. It'd probably take more than one empty room for everything to fit. Think twice before you say yes. Hmm. Let me write up a list then. I'll ask Gwei to bring them over. <laughs> you seriously think he'll be able to carry everything on his own? Even if he got Chi Chi to help, it'd still be impossible to bring them all in one go. Perhaps I should take a trip back to the pharmacy to pack everything up and have them delivered a few boxes at a time. Sorry, I'm a bit of a hassle to deal with. What topics might you be interested in? I don't want to bore you with abstruse pharmacology, and you probably don't need to listen to my suggestions on healthy living. Weren't you rambling about your bottles and jars? I think they're good conversation material. That's right. Apart from herbal decoctions, I sometimes also prescribe topical medications for my patients. Topical medication often comes in the form of ointments and tinctures. The ingredients are complex and require a precise mixing ratio, so making them is a rather complicated process. Of course, I wouldn't expect my patients to be experts in medicine, so I usually make everything myself. The pre-processed ingredients essential for making the medicine are all soaked inside the jars. Yes, there's lots of excellent stuff in there. Mostly just herbs. Some contain potent toxins that must be processed before they can be used. While we're on the subject, I have to remind you that to some degree, all medicines have detrimental side effects on the body. The issue is not limited to a few specific ingredients. Even the mildest medicines have the potential to do more harm than good if they're not used with caution. You should refrain from taking medicine unless it's absolutely necessary. Mild discomfort often resolves itself with time. So, 
If you ever feel unwell, you should check in with me before taking anything. It always pays to be cautious. I had to tell you this even at the risk of sounding insufferable. Anything I want to do? The human lifespan is limited to no more than a century, and we often find ourselves with endless desires and insufficient time. But we don't have to start being all deep and existential in a casual conversation. There's actually something I'm planning to do. Liyue Harbor is a large place. Sometimes people get severely injured and become incapacitated, while others may land themselves in situations where it's difficult for them to ask for help. In either case, it is often well past the golden hour for treatment when the doctor finally arrives at the scene. People often wish for doctors to become more efficient, but I'm not able to teleport between places, and as a result, the best window for treatment is often missed. In situations like this, the patient should first try to help themselves. There are many ways to render self-aid before help arrives, but not everyone is aware of them. As a doctor, that's something within my power to change. I'm thinking of coming up with some ways to teach people basic first aid. Being a doctor comes with great responsibility, so I'm just trying to do my duty. Having someone to listen to me while I think aloud at length is already a great help. I'll make sure to go over the details with you once I've put together a better plan. I might need your help again when the time comes. I've drafted a preliminary plan, but I still need to go over a few details to make the whole process more efficient. Having someone to listen to me while I think aloud at length is already a great help. Good night. It's important to follow the body's natural rhythm and rest when the sun is down. Staying up at night and napping throughout the day may sound tempting, but it's detrimental to your health. <sighs> My apologies. I wasn't trying to call you out or anything. I'm just too accustomed to reminding my patients of the importance of sleeping at the right time. I hope you don't mind. Good morning. The fresh and crisp morning air works wonders for lifting one's spirits. There's no better time to get a head start on any important tasks. <laughs> you look both wide awake and ready to seize the day. <sighs> You go ahead. I'm gonna snooze a while longer. There's a saying called "the doctor's mood is the reflection of the patient's mood." I think it's a good point. Today, I've just seen the sun rising. Hmm. You're quite a person. Hmm. You're quite a person. You're quite a person. You're quite a person. 我的生活习惯和别人略有不同，但你不用太在意这种事。重要的东西我都随身备好了。<笑>毕竟是个大夫，要是连自己都照顾不好，就太不像话了。其实也没什么特别的，因为我身体不好，有些毛病一旦发作起来，必须得及时吃药，这才带了一个药箱。除了药之外。还有些其他瓶瓶罐罐，又重又占地方，我也就没多带。谢谢你，我的东西有点多，原本就是来做客的，占了主人太多地方，就不好意思了。哎呀，瞧他这又惦记又含蓄的样子，我来说好了，那些瓶瓶罐罐呢，不能说是有点多，得说是很多，特别多。如果都搬来的话，恐怕一间屋子都不够放，你得考虑好哦。那，我来写个单子吧，请阿贵帮忙把那些东西送来。不，他一个人肯定是拿不下的，就算叫上七七也拿不了许多。还是我回去一趟，把所有东西装好箱，再分批送进来。抱歉，我这人是有些麻烦。